What is up guys and welcome back to the AI Scripters Championship. Tonight we're only gonna have a single match and it will be the last match of round 3 of the group stage between Cyan and Ternary. Both of these AIs probably the weakest two AIs in the entire tournament so this could very well be a match for the last place or the second last place in the tournament. Uh, obviously no one's getting eliminated in the group stage they will still at least go to the uh, lower bracket in the final in the uh, playoffs but whoever uh, wins this uh, whoever loses this match will have the harder route there and will probably be eliminated in last place but once again only probably they still have a chance especially if they improve their ai still so i don't know rorik says it might be close honestly i think it wouldn't be cl it won't be close i think uh, uh cyan is the clear favorite here in my opinion because ternary is just yeah ternary has a very cool and futuristic concept in theory but it's just very underdeveloped he never put enough time into it to really make it good so i don't know i hope big t will work for more on ais in the future he hasn't had much time lately so i'm not sure if that's gonna happen anytime soon but if it, if he does he could go a long way his ais could really become good but so far ternary yeah it's still too too way too early in its development stage and it's still it it's not really good in any maps it can't really even uh, abuse um, the sieve bonuses of any specific sieves so um, i mean cyan also has been hasn't been too good so far it only played a single match so far against uh, bambi but it lost there relatively convincingly but also um at least uh, the scripter cyan cyrus is motivated and if he and if he puts more work into it, he could also make his AI great. We'll see how that goes, or if he can even make a lower bracket run later in this tournament. But we'll have to see about that. I think Cyan is definitely still favored here. And um, it looked, uh, Cyan looked to have, yes, pretty solid, uh, at least, um, decent understanding of how to play the game. And it had some strategies. I don't know, man. I, I still haven't seen, I, I, like I said, I only have seen a single Cyan match. Maybe this is uh, probably the match where Cyan has a chance to actually show what it can do against the weakest of opposition. Um, Rorik, if you missed Bambi vs. Tournament, that's, I think that uh, should be on the YouTube channel. That was one of the first matches. Okay, so uh, for the map draft, you can also see it on the screen. Um, Cyan banned Dust Bowl, Big T banned Land Nomad. Uh, I think Ternary is still not optimized for that whatsoever. But he also picked Fang Crazy, where there, there is the possibility for a Land Nomad start if he gets unlucky. But also, Fang Crazy always the wild card pick, the one where you can get lucky if your opponent cannot handle something. Also, I still think, I don't think uh, Fang Crazy is a good map for Ternary, but I don't think uh, Ternary is good on any map, so. <laughs> Not really sure what he should have picked there. And Cyan going for the Surefire 4v4. And Cyan picking Arena. Once again, Arena, another map where I don't think Ternary is any good at. And Ternary at least going for the 1v1. Again, 1v1 is the setting where you have the biggest upset chance as the weaker AI. So I think what, picking 1v1 is definitely uh, the right choice there from turn, uh, from Big T. Anyway, first game will be the Fan Crazy 4v4. Mm, mm hmm as my ASC maps all the way up here. So 4v4 between Cyan and Ternary. For the civilization picks we have uh, from Cyan. He, uh, he picked the Incas, the Mongols, the Persians and the Vikings. Not so sure about the uh, about the Incas and Mongols picks. Uh, Persians and Vikings though should be pretty good on most maps. Uh, no matter what uh, fan crazy throws at you, they should be pretty decent. Mongols always depends on the hunt. If they have a lot of uh, big wars or something or big deer, then they could make a lot of use of, the, of that. Otherwise, uh, they're probably a recursive. Ternary picking the Chinese, also a sieve that should be good under most circumstances, such as the Celts and the Mayans as well. So these sieves, I like these sieve picks uh, from uh, from Big T here. He picked all the sieves that have like uh, red. They are they are strong no matter um, 
what the map throws at him and even if you can't exploit the specific advantages of a sieve then it could still have a chance because the sieves are just strong in general. Let's jump into it. Oh, and we do actually have a land nomad start. So that could really spell disaster for Ternary if he still doesn't know if it, if it still doesn't know how to play this map. And with six villagers as well, so three extra villagers at the start. That should definitely even out the uh, the advantage that the Chinese and the Mayans get on a land nomad start usually. Oh no, it's a, lo a regular nomad set, not land nomad, sorry. I didn't check the wood at the start. So they can build a town center at the start. Um, we already see here the first... The first Cyan building its a TC out in the middle of nowhere. Usually on a regular nomad start you want to build your TC on wood. So that you don't... That you don't need to build an extra llama camp. You can get, just take wood from the start. And yeah... Looks like all of these Cyans actually have pretty bad uh, TC placements on land nomad starts, or on regular nomad starts, I should say. Because they didn't build their TC on any resource, neither on wood nor on food. At least they have turkeys. These turkeys don't have that much of food. They have like 98 and 88 food from what I've seen. And already built a mill early on these deers. They are pretty fat, these deers with 300 food. Let's look at Turnery. Okay, Turnery did actually also manage to build their TCs. Again, also building their TCs in bad spot. They don't know how to, how to place their TCs. So both of these guys aren't good at that. But at least no one should be in a, a strong disadvantage here. Both of them have should have yeah, pretty... Like, not good starts, but they aren't bad. Looks like everyone found a bunch of turkeys, or a lot of turkeys in some cases. But once again, these turkeys don't have unlimited food. Like, they do sometimes have one fan crazy. You never know. Trees? The trees actually have uh, more food, uh, more wood than usual. But that shouldn't play too much of a role. Just you don't have to uh, rebuild your lumber camps too often. The boars are regular, standard. And all of the players do seem to be pretty close together in each team and uh, there is a big sea in the middle with a, quite a lot of fish they don't have too much fish on there but if you dock if you dock early then you can definitely get an advantage from fishing but since the sea is so far in the middle it's almost like a mini baltic then you can kind of um, if uh, if both of them dock then going for galleys could definitely be an option early on but later on it shouldn't be too much or of a factor after but once you go on land then it should be more of a choke point battle here around this uh, around the southern side of the sea here because in the north there you can't go through okay let's see the science all built a mill on the berries they're still gathering their turkeys also built a lumber camp of course looks to be about the same thing for the turneries. Even taking the turkeys on the mill, that's something most ass don't do. Usually just take your turkeys on the TC. And they did start, did they start with barracks? I think turnery builds barracks early. Yeah, turnery definitely uh, builds barracks early sometimes. No one's up to fuel age yet, so these barracks are very definitely early, especially if you don't go for a rush. These are way too early. So the build orders from Ternary also still not optimized. Cyan is taking its boars. At least some of them are. There are still a lot of boars still here. They didn't start with a starting scout, so they have to start, uh, scout with their villagers. I'm actually going to check how they're, well they're doing that. Looks like Cyan isn't scouting with villagers at all. So actually, picking land nomad would be probably be good against Cyan if you don't know how to scout with villagers then you're gonna have a hard time on these maps because you're not gonna scout at all then at least it's building a dock here one of them is uh, Turnery also didn't really scout with, 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 with villagers so okay at least it did a, a little bit just to find a few resources maybe but overall I think both of these AIs have difficulty scouting with villagers but I think Cyan is even worse at it and that could come back to bite it in the ass 
We'll see about that. But it doesn't look like uh, Ternary wants to build any docks. At least one Cyan built a dock here on the safe back lake. So that fish is definitely going to be very safe. Already got one fishing ship out. That's yellow here. And building a second fishing ship. Probably a third. Yeah. So it had, uh, yellow will definitely have a an, another advantage here in having this safe fish that Cyan can't really touch. And it's scouting. Uh, Ternary can't really touch. And it's scouting with one of the fishing ships. That's also interesting that it's scouting. Uh, but there's nothing really here to find here, so it shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't give it any advantage. And now we have Cyan, the Cyan's going up to Fuel Age, all pretty much at the same time, much earlier than the Turneries. Now the Turneries has clicked up yet. And building, they are building the barracks now. Let's see what kind of strategies they're going for. Um, there isn't really any kind of uh, real flanks or pockets on this map since all of the players started so close together, at least for Cyan. Turnery, on the other hand, I'd say here at least Grey is the most forward, uh, most close to the choke point, and then uh, Teal and Purple are very far in the back. Uh, but it's, that would be extremely difficult for an AI to detect here, which uh, if you want to play as a flank or a pocket. And Turnery probably couldn't do that anyway, even if it tried. Turnery made, made one militia to scout. I mean, it's something. The science, uh, Red's going for a stable. Green going for... Is that black? What else does green have? I only see, see a blacksmith in the barracks. Blue again. Also, only blacksmith in barracks. What, what is that build order, <laughs> Cyan? What is that build order? I mean, it should be a fast castle. But why do you build a barracks? Where's your gold? You're not... Yeah, both of these AIs are far from optimized. Uh, yeah, gold. Um, the gold looks to be much less gold on these gold piles than usual. So gold might run out very early. Then it, uh, they should rely on their trade if they know how to. <laughs> these guys, you never know. What's yellow even doing? Yellow? Uh, it is in fuel age. It has the fruit to go up. It doesn't have the gold. It has neither a blacksmith nor an archery range nor a stable. Now it's building a stable. Now the turneries, uh, two of the turneries have gotten to uh, the fuel age, the third one is going up now. And orange still hasn't even clicked up the fuel age. What's going on with orange? Uh, oh, looks like that looks to be kind of a serious bug here. It has over a thousand food and uh, wood and no, not even enough food to click up the fuel age. And it already has almost 40 villagers. So terrible eco imbalance from one of the turneries here. Critical bug, that's what I'd call it. Um, yes, Rorik, they can update uh, their AIs at any t at any stage in the tournament. They definitely can. Like th all of the AI tournaments are basically designed to be, at least in some part, to be an incentive for people to work on their AIs and to see how much they can improve uh, for the duration of the tournament to get as much out of them as possible. So yes, updating your AIs always possible during AI tournaments and always encouraged. Uh, Turnery not even go for their boars. Yeah, I, I don't know. Does Turnery not even know how to lure boars? That would be terrible, man. Turnery is so bad still. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, obviously Big T um, already said that he probably shouldn't should have admitted this early AI binary to this uh, to this tournament because Turnery never really got anywhere and he didn't put enough work into it to make it even remotely good. So once again, I'm not expecting much from Turnery here. I probably it's even a stretch to imagine Turnery winning a single game at any stage in the tournament. But if it were to win a, a, a single game anywhere in the tournament, then this would be the best opportunity because Cyan is the weakest opposition it's gonna get here. The others are much, much better. So if you can't beat Cyan, then this AI is just garbage, I'm sorry. Alright, not much happening. I'm just gonna turn on speed tech to speed it up a bit. There we go. And Cyan building a defensive tower on yellow. Uh, green already in Castle Age. Um, all of them are already in Castle Age. Actually, the Cyan's went to Castle Age relatively quick. They all tried to go for a fast castle. Obviously, the build order was terrible. But they still went for a 21, 22 minute fast castle, which is ex yeah, yeah, extremely slow. Definitely not competitive. But against Turnery, it should be more than enough. And Green already made a ton of knights. But it looks like that's the only military we see so far. From, uh, from Cyan. Turnier on the other hand, 
Yeah, the few, uh, first few turnaries are clicking up the castle now, so they also went for... I don't even know what that build order is. Like, that is so slow. You would have lost to a flash hard if someone flashed you here. Yeah, so now uh, all the turnaries are now ex uh, except Orange, which is yeah was so as long uh, delayed in the in the in the Dark Age. All of them are now up to Castle Age, and now that yeah exactly um, this is a really good time sign to attack, because now you have the advantage you have. You've been in Castle Age for a while. You have a bunch of Castle Age unit. Red like, even going for Calvar just with the Mongols and a ton of skirmishers. Grey only has a uh, few archers without any castle age upgrades here, so they they are gonna get massacred without a problem. And these villagers are also gonna die for sure. And red, it's o is it? It's only red attacking, so the scions don't even have the coordination to attack all together. It's only a single one that even attacked. And green, green has all of its knights here. It's not doing anything with them. And red, yeah. I mean, yeah, Gray made enough archers and almost upgraded the crossbow, so it was able to stop this attack. It only lost two villagers there. And Orange also having all the defense with a couple of men at arms. But yeah, Cyan, man, you, if you're gonna attack, you can all attack at the same time. Just know when your allies attack and attack at the same time. That way you're gonna yeah. have a much better chance of actually winning. It's probably... No, these villagers are just going idle, they're not gonna die, but now green is also coming forward with its knights, so green and red now at least attacking at the same time. These knights are stuck on this mining camp though, I mean, I guess they're gonna take it down. And other than that, they should probably run in, and yellow and blue still haven't done anything. I mean, blue is making eagles. Even have the two armor upgrades that you need. Yellow has a strong fish economy here in the back. And even red, red and blue... They all, actually all of the Scions built, built docks here, in this one back lake, so all of their fish economy is safe, but this fish is gonna run out very quick, because there are way too many ships in here. And Turnery... Turnery never built any docks. Orange still, with <laughs> melee men at arms, still few late. Fuel age upgrades, no uh, castle age upgrades yet, and also looks like Tony likes their men at arms and long swords. Okay, yellow now finally also attacking with knights and crossbows from the Vikings. Okay, but Tony is actually on the offensive now. All in the, this is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. When you attack, attack all at once, all together. And this is what Tony is doing right now. All of the eyes detect at the same time. All and because of the the map layout, they're all attacking through the same choke point, so all of them are in the same battle, and that's definitely a big advantage for Turnery because Turnery, all of the four Turneries are fighting in the same spot at the same time. They, they could actually win here. The problem is, Yellow does have two towers here, even upgraded to uh, to guard towers, and they have the hill advantage here on the defense with ranged units. <coughs> so it doesn't look like Turnery can really make a much of this push here, especially because most of this army is like a, a pikemen and uh, and longswords. Not even longswords, sometimes just men at arms without the upgrades. And looking at the civilian numbers here, two of the scions, yellow and green, have boomed a lot harder than the rest of the players. So they're gonna have a big advantage, uh, especially yellow. Yellow's already at 150 villagers, so it's pretty much over boomed already as the Vikings. You might even sling someone else, because Viking late game military isn't that strong. You wanna sling that to like your Mongols or your Incas. Um, and Turnery, I think Turnery doesn't even know how to boom. It's just... So... I expect Turnery's boom to be a lot slower. And even though they all used their militaries at the same time and didn't do anything with it, oh, that is a lot of battering ramps. But they're gonna get massacred, because no, all, all of the Scions are also on the offensive. Yeah, that looks like all of the Scions are finally on the offensive. No one's off the Imperial Age yet, but now that Science uh, pulled its finger out of its ass, the, that should be an easy push here, because Turnery only has a few yeah, a few battering rams here. The Scions have the much stronger economy overall. Oh, it's only Red that's staying behind. I don't know what's wrong with Red. It has, for some reason, the weakest economy in the game, weaker than even the, weaker than even the Turneries. I don't know why. But yeah, look at this uh, the size of this army here. So now a Scion, this should be the decisive push. Turnery had its chance, but yeah, probably bad unit choices. Just infantry in the castle age. What are you gonna do with that?
So about what you'd expect from this matchup. Turnery, no. No chance whatsoever. They lost all their armies now. And now the Scions have pushed in here with such an overwhelming force. And the Scions also have Siege. Still Castle Age, but uh, they have clicked up. Uh, this Yellow has clicked up the Imperial. That's the Viking one. He had the strongest economy. And Battering Rams is going to take down this TC. Now Gray is going to be dead. Pretty much already uh, 40 pop and still quickly dropping. And then they're going to push in into Orange here. And then the rest. Yeah, this should be over very soon. Yeah, and Turnery making a ton of Battering Rams. Probably too many. <laughs> I mean, sure, uh, Battering Rams are a great meat shield against ranged units, but you need army to back them up. Just pure Battering Rams isn't doing anything. And Sion even has the battering rams here, just perfectly smashing them down, no problem. Now Grey and uh, Orange both pretty much dead. Teal and Purple are left from Turnery. And... Did I... Whoa! Grey actually resigned, yay! <laughs> nice to see they have at least some resign rules. I don't, still don't think they have good resign rules, we're gonna see about that in a minute here. Yeah? Look at this amount of battering rams for purple here. How many is that? It's like 20 battering rams. And no military. <laughs> what the fuck, Turnery? Okay, uh, we have blue now also up to Imperial. That's taking a long time for the science to even go up to Imperial Age. Right? They really have, don't have their build orders down. and Some of them aren't good at booming either. Like we saw, at least yellow looked good. The rest of them really didn't. And red had a really bad start for some reason, which it shouldn't have had. But still, <laughs> more than good enough against Cyan, uh, against Ternary. Still Castle Age units, but whatever. Now also, uh, Green is an Imperial and getting all the upgrades. Blue getting the Imperial upgrades. No, Green is still in Castle Age, sorry. But it is getting a lot of upgrades. But Blue is an Imperial Age. Also getting Siege Ram. But yeah, at this point it's just tons of knights, even Viking Cavaliers in here, cleaning up the rest of the turneries. And once again, turnery man, they didn't even mount much of the fence. They built even the, that one castle here is way in the back. I don't think they even built any other castles. And the military choices, man, they made only battering rams and almost nothing else. Only like a few units here and there, but just battering rams, battering rams, nothing else. What the fuck is that about, Big T? Yeah, no chance for Ternary. Now, uh, Teal also 20 pop, Purple 60 pop, and I don't know if they're gonna resign at, uh, at any point here, so... Doesn't look like it, bad resign rules, Big T. At least add resign rules if your eyes is shit, so <laughs> we don't have to drag the game out. I'm gonna end it manually, and that is the first victory. Decisive one, as expected, in my opinion, for Cyan. Uh, that's 1-0. And the second game will be, of course, the 1v1 on Arena. Now, on Arena, once again, I don't, I don't think uh, Turnery is optimized for that map. So, and uh, Cyan even picked it, so I think Cyan even knows that Turnery has no chance on this map. And so that is probably the result we're looking for here once again. And for the Civilization picks, we have the Teutons for Cyan. Yeah, definitely a standard arena choice. They are strong economy, especially if you can't lower your boars or your deer through the walls, then the farms are even more important for the Teutons. And they have the, the anti-monk bonus if your enemy is going for monks. I mean, Aztecs from Turnery pick would be a monk sieve on arena for sure, but I don't, know, I don't think Turnery knows how to make monks. I guess we're going to see about that. Okay. Let me inject my cheat engine once again. This is a 1v1, so we can look at anyone anyway. Blue a bit late to find that sheep. What was that? That, that one turn your villager just went, killed a deer, and then went back to build a house? What the fuck am I even looking at? Oh, red boar outside. That's not gonna be able to lure. Turnery is definitely not able to lure that. Good AI will, but Turnery not. Turnery, I don't even know if Turnery knows how to uh, lure boars whatsoever. 
So if Turnery can't even hunt deers in general, then it's just so far behind any of the other AIs here. They shouldn't shouldn't really have any chance. Turnery built the Lumber Camp first, then the mill. On the berries, we have Cyan. Where are Cyan's boars? Where are your boars? One's inside, right here. The other one, I've probably overlooked it somewhere. Where the fuck is that boar? Well, I can't find... Oh, it's here, right here. Okay, so both the boars inside the walls, so they should be easy to lure for Cyan. And the deer is also inside the walls, if it wanted to go for those. Oh, stolen a sheep from Turnery. Stolen two sheep from Turnery. Okay, it's gonna get at least one back. But still, <laughs> advantage for Cyan already. And look at look at this, uh, the villager numbers. Cyan already has three more villagers than, than Turnery. So once again, Turnery with a terrible eco balance. Look, look, look at Turnery right now. It has... 11 villagers, it has 6 on food and the rest on wood. So in Dark Age, that is such a terrible eco balance. Like, how, how can your AI base be so bad that you don't even have the uh, decent eco balance even in the earliest stages of, of Dark Age? So you have to idle your fucking TC because you don't have enough food to even make villagers. What is that shit? Man, big T. Your AI is garbage, man. That's not even funny, man. This game should be a stump. Okay, Sion lured both of his boars. Turnery hasn't even gone for the one. Like, Turnery. Look at Turnery. Already, four villagers behind in Dark Age. In fucking Dark Age, it's four villagers behind. Man, that is just disappointing. Actually, beyond disappointing, man. That's just utter dog shit, man. Fuck you, AI. It's so bad. Okay, Turnery. Take your easy victory when you're given one. Should be as easy as, as, easy as that. Cyan. Yeah. Teuton Farms, always good. Up to Fuel Age on 26 population. It built a barracks, but we obviously saw last, last game that even the, the uh, fast castle build order from Cyan is extremely wonky. Like it built a barracks, then nothing then it's blacksmith and didn't take gold early enough at least this time stay putting three on gold now probably too late already building a blacksmith stable okay so at least the build order looks kind of decent but it doesn't have anywhere near enough food to go up like only five farms probably way too much no oh sorry sorry i was looking at the economy from turnery wait wait a second did i see that right turnery still doesn't even have enough food to click up to dark age at uh, the feudal age it's once again stuck in Dark Age until 35 population because of its utterly terrible Dark Age uh, economy balance. Look at how many farms it has. It never took even a single boar. It has like, I don't know, like 50, 20 farms now. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. This is just, this is hard to watch. Tony, no, you really don't deserve to be in this tournament. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's a shameful display. Sorry, uh, Cyan is up to Castle Age. They're in an almost decent time here. On 32 pop, it's gonna arrive at Castle Age under 18 minutes at least. So not too bad. That's a pretty standard ca um, castle time for AIs. And it made a stable and an archery range. Yeah, make up your fucking mind. What do you want? Stable, archery range, blacksmith and market. And a tower inside your walls. Like, what is that? What is that build order, Cyan? What is your strategy here? <laughs> it's making a knight. <laughs> what the? Turnery is researching scale mail. What a fucking clown show is this game. It's also making a market. It has two barracks making spearmen in feudal age. It has the it has the resources to click up to castle age. It made two barracks and spearmen in feudal. Two barracks and spearmen. I mean, okay, okay, let's go with the flow here. It made the spearmen because it knew that Cyan was gonna go for knights. Not bad, not bad. Cyan's still building towers inside the walls. I don't know why. But why not, I guess. Let's just try and things. Also mining stone now. Okay, I mean, you need to if you're building that many towers. And, yeah, let's remember. Cyan is the Teutons and Turnery is the Aztecs. So the longer this game drags on, 
Aztecs really the, the advantage is their economy. They have the strongest economy. They're pretty much the fastest civ in the game. So Aztecs, yeah, they should win. They should win as early as possible to take advantage of their civ bonuses. And because their late game military really isn't that good. Teutons, on the other hand, have a really good late game military. They have a lot of choices, a lot of fully upgraded units. They have hand cannons. They have really good shit. So in the late game, Teutons have the advantage just to the Civ if it goes to late game. And yeah, you're looking at Turnery in the. With, uh, no, it isn't Castle Age at least, but it is attacking with about 20 Feudal Age Spearmen on Arena. You're seeing that right. This AI is attacking with, with Feudal Age Spearmen on Arena. I mean, they did get in, they're getting massacred. Nothing done here. Maybe a, a tiny bit of idle time, but I don't think even that. And all of these spearmen just died here for nothing. Because Cyan at least had some skirmishers and had a tower here. No problem. Doesn't even, you don't even need these walls, man. Just delete your walls at this stage. <laughs> okay. Economy, let's look. Turn we are still on 1 TC. 53 villagers. Cyan 10 villagers ahead on 2 TCs. Like, yeah, and building a castle now as well. The longer this goes on, the bigger the advantage for Cyan is just gonna get. I don't think anyone has gone for the relics yet, from the looks of it. Oh, we see the, <laughs> the classic Turnery battery room ram once again. <coughs> oh, building a second town center outside. That might actually get denied here. Yep, there we go. Outside TC denied. Bad positioning. Like, what, what even is that? Why would you build a TC right here? That's not even on gold, that's not even on wood, that's just a useless this fucking TC. It's terrible all around. Like, I haven't seen a single good thing from Turnery in this tournament. Like, nothing. It's all bad. It's all fucking... I, I don't have words for this, mate. This... Just... Fuck you, big T. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, Silas at least attacking. It's attacking the walls with its units. Doesn't have any siege yet. But they are gonna get through at some point. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, but they're gonna get through. At this point, Cyan almost has double the villager numbers of Turnery. Turnery still isn't even making any military. Yeah, it's just making 20 battering rams. That's its military. That's your choice against knights. Battering rams. Genius! Is that longsword? Teutonic knights! Oh, Teutonic knights. Interesting shit here. Yeah? I mean, they're gonna wreck battering rams at least. <laughs> no problem there. Man, how long does it take you to get through these walls? At least keep attacking the same pieces. One of the two cases in. Oh, yeah, this piece will go down here. Just break in already. Oh, the battering rams are going for a out breakout run here. They're going through the gates and they're getting massacred. <laughs> battering rams trying to fight. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, oh there are sign of the walls, finally. And here we go. Now it's just a cleanup job. <laughs> fuck me, man. Turnery. <laughs> uh, this AI really isn't up to snuff. Probably Turnery would probably even lose to the just an average 1.0 CAI. Cyan also up to Imperial Age. And yeah, Cyan at least. Easy matchup, easy victory. At least Cyan isn't undefeated in this tournament. So there's that. Cyan, you can you can brag about beating Turnery for whatever that's worth. But if you want to achieve more than that, then you really gotta work. I think you gotta work on your early game build orders for one th uh, for one thing. And after that, probably I don't know. You gotta have to see. Maybe the towers build only build towers when they're necessary, not on arena. And yeah. I still haven't really seen anything too good from Cyan. At least it's um, almost solid, more than enough to beat uh, to beat the shit AI without problem. So that's a good sign. It doesn't have a problem against weak opposition. Then yeah, you definitely have a solid foundation to build upon. But we still have to see if Cyan even has a chance against any against any other AIs against any good AIs. 
We, we might see that in the uh, in the lower bracket of the playoffs later on in this tournament. But for now, at least, Cyan not undefeated. Cyan can win against weak AIs without a problem. So props to you. And Ternary, once again, not resigning. Cyan is almost a pop cup. Ternary below 30 pop. And doesn't show any sign of resigning. That means I have to quit the game manually. And yeah, um, pretty much went as I expected. Turnery just too weak to really put up any kind of resistance, even against the kind of, uh, the likes of Cyan. So, not much to say about that. Just Turnery really is not cut out for this kind of opposition. I don't know, Big T. Big T, I hope you keep working on AI because your approach to AI scripting is, it has a lot of potential. Just he hasn't put. Uh, he don't know how to. Play, he doesn't know how to play the game yet. He doesn't ha hasn't put in the time to really make his AI as good. I think if he keeps at it, he could go a long way. But he would need a lot of work, and he could get really good then. But the less work he puts in, then the AI is just gonna keep uh, very, keep being very bad. Uh, so for now, let's stay and update the results in the group stage. Cyan 2-0, easy victory. Pretty much the expected outcome here. Cyan actually 2-2, two, two, but yeah, only played two matches so far. I don't think it has any chance against the likes of Tribal and Promi. So we're gonna see about that in the next two rounds. Uh, Turnery, 06 record, still hasn't even had a chance to win anything. And I don't think it ever will in this stage, in this state it's in. So that concludes the round three of the group stage. I'm gonna update the, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna announce the uh, matchups for the next one and then you can get drafting. And then hopefully we're gonna get into the round four very soon and we're gonna have a bunch of interesting games there as well. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna put this up on YouTube even though it's a shit game, but whatever. Good job, Cyan. At least you're not getting wrecked against the likes of Turnery. Easy, should be easy win. Maybe the only one you gotta get. I hope not, but for now, that's it. I thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you next time. Peace.